Hey. Well, you made it on time. That's amazing. <laughs> Fuck you, Sid. <laughs> no, I, I, I am impressed. <laughs> because like, you have to push all the plans three, ahead, three hours ahead. So that's amazing. I do run late all the time. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not that. But I'm just saying. Because you, it was not even you being late. It's like you didn't understand the time zone. I didn't right? understand the time zone. How could yeah. one country be so far? <laughs> we have five time zones. Five in Canada? Yeah. Trash? No. Hello? Can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, what's up, man? What's up, dude? So good to hear your guys' voice, voices, you, yeah. voice. Same you. Do you want to come on video, or do you want to be hidden? Uh, no, I got my curlers on, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a hot mess right now. Yeah, you don't I'm want like... your only fan seeing you in that state. You. Yeah. yeah, I don't want my rep being ruined. Yeah. So I put the trash. <laughs> uh, thank you for coming on today. I have people lined up already, but we wanted to do it with you first because we know you and we thought there would be some technical difficulties. Oh, I love you guys. Yeah. I, well, we were discussing, I said, when we want to start, we're just going to start with our friend. Yeah, because it's so easy. Yeah. Did you know birds shit and piss out of the same place? <laughs> <laughs> what a great fact to open on. <laughs> just wanted to oh just wanted to tell everyone. Thank it's crazy. you for clarifying. <laughs> no, no, that's not clarifying. I didn't even know that. Didn't I'm know watching a fact. nature show literally right before we got on and that was the last, you know yeah. that was the takeaway. So okay. um sorry. Put that well, one in the back. Fact as well that birds don't have sex either. They just they sit have. on they you know, they just sit though. on like, like, I know about the chicken, I don't know all birds, but chicken don't have sex. Yeah, they just yeah. sit, like a male chicken sit on the female chicken and that's it. They just sit? They just sit. But they hump. Damn. They yeah, they hump. Do they? they? Have, have you ever that. seen a chicken hump? Yeah, I've seen um, pigeons hump. They hump all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah, pigeons shit. Might, but chicken just sit on top of other and that's how yeah, they fight. Yeah, pigeons... Something. Pigeons saw somebody in the park humping, and they're like, oh, let's try that. Chickens have no frame of reference like that. Yeah. They, they see all that good. that hood rat shit, you know, <laughs> down under the bridge in the park. Like hobo something. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, we might talk first about what trash does and why you are known as a trash artist. How did that come to be? Um... I guess like the easiest way to explain it is um, so like at the end of my first year in the space, I was doing a lot of like, I came, I came into the space doing audio for an AI artist. And through that relationship, I kind of started learning more about machine learning and GANs and stuff like that. So I was doing a lot of audio visual work the first year. And by the end of the first year, I was super burnt out. Um, Cause like every piece required like, it was just a lot to do. It was, I had, there was multiple aspects of the piece that needed to be right for it to even be, for me to even post it. So it just got to be like too much pressure. So I kind of like started over and I went back to like what I was doing before I went down the rabbit hole with like machine learning and was just started to do my vector work again. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I just remember seeing on the timeline and like at the time, probably early 2022, like a lot of people were getting rugged and all you saw on the timeline was people saying like this fucking garbage art, like it's mostly PFP, like DGENs that probably got fucking wrecked and they were, all I could see was like garbage, garbage, garbage. And I was thinking like, man, this is like such an untapped like potential <laughs> Like, and, I'm that <laughs> yeah exactly well and at the time like i you guys probably remember like my house flooded underneath yes, I do remember. and it like i was fucking knee deep in garbage just <laughs> like so like i'll just explain it just for whoever doesn't know um which is 95 percent of the people <laughs> listening to it 
Um, <laughs> so like I would, so since I was going to call it garbage, I, wanted to, like, I was thinking like, okay, well, everyone's got like their own opinion about art. So I was going to try and get like some of my friends and collectors to uh, like, like review or re react to my work. So I would send them this like Google drive folder and tell them to record before they open the folder. And instead of giving them my art, I sent them like pictures of ass cracks or like um, <laughs> like really long toenails. There was like a guy who like it was like all those people of Walmart pictures. Like I like, think there was one guy like who shit his pants in Walmart, <laughs> just walking around. Um, so yeah, I was getting this like supernatural look of disgust on people's faces when they're like thinking they're gonna open this folder to see like art and i used that to like promote the pro like promote the concept and this was like for like months before i even dropped <laughs> i just had was having too much fun doing it so i just kept it going as much as i could and by the time i dropped it was like peak hilarity insanity peak trash season yeah <laughs> yeah those marinating in that garbage juice <laughs> how did psychedelics play into all of your creative pursuits so obviously you were an illustrator before you were in the nft scene and you talked about being like a sound technician and making music so when did you first start using psychedelics and how have they been integrated into your creative process so it's funny because I've done mushrooms like a bunch. Um, and the most recent, like that I've taken like a deliberate amount to like trip was that has actually like, it's been years. Like I microdose and that's kind of what, and especially like with like, where I'm at in life right now. It's just, I can't just like unplug, take off and trip on mushrooms yeah, yeah, for like 12 totally. hours, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so I actually like, I really do think that a lot of my like creative thoughts and the way that I approach things is connected to all of the times that I've done psychedelics in the past especially like in my younger years, I just remember feeling like a really distinct change in the way that I was, the way I was for like outputting my creativity. I don't know. Yeah. It just felt different. Yeah. Maybe it's cause I was growing up, but also I really do think that like, you know, you can have like a profound moment, but you can also have like a profound, like takeaway yeah the integration of the yeah. of the lesson learned yeah or the experience into what we do day to day where do you think like you're going to go next with your creative endeavors like do you have a are you going to drop more digital yeah i really do want to like i've been really itching to like buy a massive canvas and just kind of like fuck around because like i do the abstract stuff as well which is way Wet, less pre way less pressure way less pressure <laughs> um <laughs> Jesus Christ. it's way less pressure to like kind of just like go as we're like funnily enough like the garbage is way more like intense and like yes there's, you have to there's, a, me there's a method to like the garbage rather than what the abstract is just kind of like fuck around and find out yeah but yeah yeah i would like to do a lot more physical stuff but it's just it's it's easier right now doing digital yeah. and i'm kind of doing a lot of different um i got my hands in a bunch of different apps right now with like i'm getting back into like the style again animation stuff like i've been kind of low-key doing that the whole time just i haven't been minting any of it Mm -hmm. So it's I've been having a lot of fun doing that, and that's like a strictly digital yeah. domain. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. It's it can, digital is so convenient con compared to using real life materials. I can't even imagine like painting, like, like going back the next day and having to mix color that like 
<laughs> my ADHD brain would like shoot itself if yeah. if I had to like recreate like hues and like oh, dude fuck. Yeah. Be honest, I don't think I could make the garbage in physical the same like anywhere near the same that I can in, in digital. And like whatever that says about me as an artist, whatever. But like, yeah, I really don't think I could. Like, because it's compare. so tricky. How how would you? Even... Also, it's very unique. It's like yeah. you can see it and you know that it's a garbage. And like there is there there's a... <laughs> that's the best fucking compliment, dude. That's the dream. That's the dream. No, well, I wasn't saying that. Too. I'm just saying like you see. It? And you know this piece is garbage from the garbage Dude, collection. It, that's like, man, that's it's funny how like I started off with this kind of like unsure um of how this was all gonna go. And yeah. like slowly I've dude I've gotten a few DMs like that from people that just said like, Man, you just have such a recognizable like style and yeah, it's yeah, just I don't it's grown into something that like I wasn't even really this was just so this was it's so cheesy and like cliche because like I feel like everybody says this but it it was supposed to be just some stupid shit that I was doing to kind of like counteract the crazy you know depression anxiety of everything else I don't even really I just caught like I'm not trying to fall into like any specific that's the whole thing like with the garbage it's like this challenging of labels and how it doesn't like what like does it even does it matter what you call it or what it's called like does does the brand actually fucking mean anything um based on the name or do we attach value to things that like adidas inherently has value because of their name absolutely and nike so like mm -hmm. that whole idea of art being subjective but it's really not sometimes most of the time because if there's a name attached to it yeah absolutely it actually does hold more or less value but that's amazing it's just funny you work so hard on something you work so hard on something <laughs> to end up calling it garbage <laughs> like you actually really love this thing and you're like oh, i have to call it a piece of shit now <laughs> it's luxury trash yeah <laughs> That's a good name. I think that should be your next project. That should next be the next direction. collection. It's a Gucci of uh, trash. <laughs> just like, I want to do like a bunch of shit, man. I have so much like, I my problem is, is I have, my brain is like firing in every fucking direction and I'm yeah. just trying to grab onto one of the things. Do you find, <laughs> does the micro help with that? Like, does it help you come up with ideas or is it just add to the chaos? No, it definitely like you it you can you it frames it, you know it frames you in a way right like I feel more creative when I do for sure yeah I just feel maybe or I just feel more um, relaxed enough to like allow them to kind of surface because a lot of the time it's like and that's what I feel like a lot of people maybe people that aren't artists don't understand that. Like, it to get when you see like an amazing piece of work there's like not just time that the artist has put into it but there's also like perfect timing that needed to take place every night where you had to like separate yourself from the bullshit and kind of like isolate the feeling that you're trying to get across or whatever it is you have to like get yourself there and that takes that may not happen some nights yeah how and true. a lot of nights for me like especially with in especially with the music too like and i feel like going through that with music has helped me with my like visual work because mm -hmm. I, there's a lot of like carry like crossover with kind of being patient with things just maybe not working out the yeah. way you wanted right away or at all yeah, it's interesting because like the creative process has no set procedure. So you could be doing it for a really long time and every time it's wayward and chaotic and different, right? 
So, and depending on like your state of mind, like oh, you could, absolutely. there are times where I'm like so stupidly, um, like over analyzing things to the yeah. point where I end up like either fixing it, quote unquote, like into complete disrepair mm. and like just like you know, destructive editing, and I'm like, it's gone. And now I have this thing that I actually don't fucking like anymore. And, <laughs> or I, or like just not having the time to get there. It's like, man, there's so many variables yeah. that kind of come into play. It's crazy to think yeah. that like so many of us actually get like managed to, to produce anything is crazy. I know because it's so much about mindset. I know I'm when I'm happiest, I'm most productive creatively. And if I'm not, it's just like pens down. Do you, what about you, Sid? Are you ha when you, when you're sad, do you get, do you feel more or less creative? No, I try not to be sad, man. And then I just, that's such a sad answer. He just doesn't do <laughs> sad. Yeah, I yeah, actually, I just don't do sad. Thing. I'm not a bitch. <laughs> but yeah, when I'm really sad, I don't get to the point when I'm really sad. So when I started to feel that something is wrong, I just sleep. And when I wake up, I'm fine. Dude, and there you have it. Yeah, dude. Um, also, like smoking, wow. uh, smoking is pretty, like helping. Also, when I say smoking, not just cigarettes, but cannabis as well. So. Mm. So see, like there are more often than not, if I'm going through some crazy, crazy shit, like it almost makes it, it makes it so intense sometimes that I almost, it almost doesn't, it has an opposite effect for me sometimes. You know, I'll tell you something. If you can do something about it, then do something about it instead of being sad. Or if you can't do anything about it, then what's the point of being sad? So just move on. So just don't, okay, shut <laughs> It's my stupid brain, dude. Like, <laughs> it's, it's so hard. Like, that's the thing too. I'll, I'll, I'll get baked, and then I'll be like, if I, if I wasn't already thinking about this thing, I'm like trying to fix it. I'm like going through every scenario in my head at the same time, and it's like, it's like uh, fast chess in my head. I'm just like, Ugh. <laughs> so, times where, yeah, yeah, it's like. And I, but I never feel like that with like the microdosing or anything like that. I have had some scary moments, like taking like much, much more than like a microdose, obviously. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, so like that, the difference between the two is it's like I'm in a place now where microdose that's like working for me, mm -hmm. and it's not like and it's I'm not like strict with it, like I don't. There are times, there are weeks and weeks that will go by where I don't take it at all. Mm -hmm. And then when I need it, I can take it. And yeah. Then, yeah. You don't follow a protocol because there's a couple of different protocols that are like five days on, two days off kind of thing. But yeah, but yeah. It, you can do it flexibly. It, it gets the same results, I personally think. Well, and I find like my top, like for whatever reason, my tolerance is just it just by the time i'm on the fifth day like obviously mm -hmm. i'm not trying to like feel any psychoactive effects necessarily sure. but like by the time i hit the fifth day it's like i'd end up having to take more and more and, and you know that's just like yeah. a dangerous road yeah. like fucking, yeah. i took a seven microdoses <laughs> <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> that might be a macro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, do you micro sit? No. No. I go, either go all in. All in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's the fucking Clint Eastwood of mushrooms. So. <laughs> I love he's that. Like I don't fucking I don't fuck around. And he's like sadness. No. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah we don't do cowboys. Is... Don't do sadness. <laughs> No amount of mushrooms don't do anything for me, so I need to feel something. If I'm taking it, I need to do something. Mm -hmm. So for mm -hmm. me, the mm -hmm. lowest dose is like one gram minimum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Starting from that, but when I take one gram, I want more. 
so I eat more and it lasts long. So it usually end up with two or three gram trip. Yeah, that's a hero dose for a lot of people. It is. Yeah. Oh, dude, I fucking man. And the one time I fucking my buddy bought these chocolates, these massive like they look. It was like a little bit bigger than like a silver dollar. If either of you know what that looks like. Yeah. It's like a large coin. Um, and it had like 2.5 or 2 grams of like whatever it was, shrooms in it. And we all ate them and everyone started making themselves throw up like after like an hour. Wow. I don't know why. I don't know. Everyone was doing it. <laughs> and everyone. they were like, oh, we ate too much food. We're not going to trip. So we got to make ourselves throw up. And I was like, <laughs> like I don't know. I wasn't feeling. It was just fucked, dude. And it like set it, it. It like set me off into this like insane. I remember sitting there with this glass in my hand, and the glass had like a chip on the rim. And I just kept saying to my buddy, "I'm like, dude, this glass is not right. There's something wrong with this. <laughs> There's something wrong with this fucking glass, dude." And I was, I don't know, I just remember saying, like, the craziest shit I've ever said in my life. I think I was, like, 17, 16. Um, that was fucking, god damn, that was a long time ago. I'm feeling old. <laughs> That's the best, though. Those, ab I mean, not obviously everyone's throwing up, but the abstract ideas, right? <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of, maybe that's where all the vomit yeah, maybe that's what's inspired from. all your vomity trash. I do have like a <laughs> weird obsession with vomit. I'm not kidding. Like everything that I make, I want to put vomit in it. <laughs> like it's not even like a should I? It's it's like how, where, <laughs> and how much. <laughs> so strange. Yeah, it is. It's weird and. <laughs> And I don't know. I feel like I'm just going to find all of the corners of the, like, all of the, all of the places people won't go. I'm going to cover those you, That is you. That is how I think of you as a person and an artist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Speaking of I'm like the possum. Places, of the <laughs> uh, speaking of going places, the places you went recently, like the PSYOP and all that thing. It was amazing. Do you want to explain more about that whole drop? Oh, the Send Your Eat guy? Yeah, Send Your Eat guy. Oh, yeah, dude. That that was born, that was inspired by, like, a couple of stand-up fellas, you know, that like to take people's money and fucking not give them anything in return. <laughs> It's just wild, dude. I don't know. I'm just watching all of this Ben Dottie and Polly and fucking I don't even know. There's a ton of them. There's they it was just like watching I don't know. I it was hard to I couldn't I that's why I guess I had to make a series because like there was no words to explain like what I was witnessing, so I had to like recreate it. And yeah, um, the whole idea was so stupid to me like people sending their money for no reason to random guy and we are not talking yeah. about a few hundred dollars we are talking about millions of dollars Ben Dodd he'd made around 20 million dollars from that well because he did it and he kept in man like you know bless the guy because he gave me so much fucking material over the course of like a month or two <laughs> that he kept me going dude in a lot of ways you the should write to guy. him so you uh, yeah. my vomit oh, I've tag tagged him on a ton of it because um, <laughs> I just wanted to see like him and Ben, bit boy Ben, fucking vomiting into each other's mouths or whatever and fucking <laughs> <laughs> shitting, shitting gold coins into a bucket and selling it. Ben is a smart um, boy. He sold that rep project to bit boy. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Dollars. Yeah. It, it, that was the craziest shit I've ever seen because it was all over the name. Your name's Ben and my name's Ben, man. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> and you're in crypto, too. Like, that was how stupid that conversation yeah. probably was. And that's why, like, 
And dude, with like the other ones that were like hosting spaces, trying to like crowd raise fucking funds to buy a new phone so he can host better spaces <laughs> on for shit coins. It was like this yeah. fucking, and he owned a punk. So it was just like this irony of like everyone's so fucking blinded by like a little bit of money flowing into the space through this shitcoin meta that they're literally like they're they're at like the doorstep of this fucking meth head fucking <laughs> like not saying any of them are meth heads but that's just what i imagine like it's like these like <laughs> these like trolls literal trolls that like live down by the river and they're just fucking swindling everybody that is like willing to and people were still all all about it so it just kind of showed like i don't know i had to at a certain point i'm like fuck this shit like i'm just gonna if i can't like i'm not gonna be that guy that's like on the comments like you're a piece of shit Like, (laughs) like stop what you're doing like you know so I just had to find a way to like just tell him fuck you, <laughs> and the easiest way was to you know make trash, put them in compromising positions <laughs> in illustrations. <laughs> so good. <laughs> but yeah, and then the whole meta update, the metadata update was like the fun part for that. And yeah. I know Sid, Sid, you had you had a hard time on some of I them. I had but... a really hard time to grab those things, but I can't find it. You have given the clues. So do you want to explain the whole process so people yeah, can understand? Us. Then I will give my hardship. So uh, so like the whole thing, so I, the first mint was the Send Your Eth Guy portrait. And that was just like what I wanted everyone to resonate, like to like identify with, with the little series. Because I honestly, I was making them the pieces as we went because shit just kept popping up. And I'm like, all right, we got to, fucking do that like oh Polly and fucking Ben Dottie are gonna fight in a boxing match I gotta fucking draw that and so there's a lot of it just kind of happened all that as we went but the original mint I wanted to be like a carrier for the mints because it was free I was doing everything for free because I figured all these fucking assholes are trying to take everyone's money and mm. I want to do something that I feel is hilarious and also like has a historical meaning Mm -hmm. behind it that like because people aren't gonna people are gonna look back on that whole meta and what ben dotty like and people are probably gonna go to jail for like the shit that went on Mm -hmm. come tax come tax time next year like i feel like there's gonna be some some serious issues with certain people but anyway it's that's even i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about with taxes so i don't know why i'm saying that but so I, wanted, I wanted to hide all of the men so that any at least people that were gonna get in on it they had to like instead of just giving my shit away like a lot of people were um at the time or trying to charge like you know, an insignificant amount that almost was like, why don't you just give it like, if you're, anyway, I just thought free would be the best way. And I want to make it difficult because I don't want like hundreds of people just collecting my shit for no reason and trying to flip it. So I did like these weird clues and, and I would use the metadata for the first mint. I would like upload like a computer screen with like a text message conversation or like a I like a DM chat with like a bunch of like made up characters that I ended up creating, and then the, that's like where the whole grandma came from, which was like such a fucking ridiculous part of this whole thing. I ended up t- like being inspired for some reason of like creating this grandmother figure who is like this alpha. I called her Grand Grand Malpha. And she it was like the the grandma who had all of the crypto alpha, and she would tell all of the DJs about these new shit coins coming out from fucking Ben Dottieth or whatever, and then they would all get fucking wrecked because <laughs> they're fucking scam artists. And I ended up creating like a fake email for the grandma <laughs> where I'd have like collectors email, and they would send an automatic response with like another 
image with a hidden link and <laughs> it just got fucking like inception it got out of hand but yeah. it was super fun and it was and it's surprising how many people actually got in on it like there was mints where people had to like upload the, or update the metadata on the first piece go to like the email type type the specific message to the email it'll send an automatic response and they have to look through another image to find a link type the link in and then collect it there was like 60 people who did that and i was like holy shit like people want people Trash. want well not even that they just want to do something yeah they, like they don't the want to just click mint yeah the complexity so, i don't know it was, yeah, it was, oh said so, yeah so basically first one was easy but there were like three or four mints and every time it was getting harder and harder one time i got so annoyed i was like start cursing grandma in the email <laughs> where's the link <laughs> and then oh, she was man. responding it it was funny but then oh I, yeah you kept getting the same response when you would email <laughs> but then i messaged her to son you have to help me i'm going blind i can't see the basic things <laughs> so it's you so helped funny. me find th- things so it was good but that is so funny too was amazing yeah it was not just connected to nfts because you were implementing that too which is email so you have to mm-hmm. email and that was not i think just on eth because i think you included one piece from tezos chain i guess which mm-hmm. was impossible for me to find because i'm very stupid in Te- tezos mm-hmm. no i actually created i also created a, wa- a separate wallet on tezos uh it's like it's the grandma account now um <laughs> Yeah. It's like specifically made for that. I actually bought the domain. I bought the domain on Tezos and Eve. <laughs> uh, it's like Grandma sixty nine or something. I can't remember. Of course it is. And and I and the Century Sky ENS. It's funny. It's just like I figured. Like I don't know because I'm going to keep going. That's the whole point of it is like, there's going to be so many more assholes that come through the space and probably some of the same shit from the same people. So I'll just keep it open-ended and when shit that's relevant pops up, I'll try and fucking recreate it. <laughs> with yeah. <vomit. laughs> yeah, no, I think that's a good idea. Keep doing it because, and the bull market is coming, so you'll have a lot of strange char- characters in our space very soon. Mm-hmm. So you will have like a lot more content to do. <laughs> <laughs> you can still be trash, though. Right? <laughs> You're gonna do the luxury trash next. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah very elegant, <laughs> yeah. divine. Even some people will call it divine. High trash. <laughs> I feel like I've been talking out of my ass a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's usual, though. That's why we. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, as long as you're, as long as you guys were prepared and of accepting of this. No, that's what we we wanted. Thank you so much for keep going. Well, say, oh yeah. Say, bye. Oh yeah. Sorry. Love <laughs> you, Trash. Yeah. Love you. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.